After months of debating, I finally switched to a mechanical keyboard. And in today's video, I'll be going over five reasons why I switched and why I think you should switch too. I will also be going over two mechanical keyboards sent to me by Vissels, so thank you to them for helping me create this video. Hey everyone, I'm John, your friend in tech. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I vlog, talk about software engineering, and create tech videos just like this one. As you can tell, in today's video, we're going to be talking about mechanical keyboards. And just to set expectations, I'm not an expert. I actually just got my first mechanical keyboard just a few weeks ago. So I'm going to be sharing my insights as someone who just recently switched to using a mechanical keyboard. So if you're thinking about switching or if you like mechanical keyboard content like I do, then this video is perfect for you. First, I want to answer what is a mechanical keyboard. There are two types of keyboards, membrane keyboards like the Apple keyboard and then mechanical keyboards like the LP85 by Vissels. They look pretty similar, but they work differently under the hood. So what defines a mechanical keyboard is that there are individual switches under each key that register when a key is pressed. So there's a lot more feedback when you're typing because you can actually feel and hear when the key is pressed. And this has a lot of benefits such as being able to type faster and more accurately. So it's a pretty simple distinction, but it really makes a huge difference. And I want to say right off the bat that there's nothing wrong with mechanical keyboards. I've been using Apple keyboards for probably like the last decade and I've never had any issues with it. So now let's get into why I finally switched to using a mechanical keyboard. So I'll be honest and I'll say the internet convinced me to buy one. I watched like one mechanical keyboard video on YouTube and all of a sudden the YouTube algorithm just started feeding me more and more videos on mechanical keyboards. And so I ended up learning a lot about them. And so here are my five reasons why I switched to using a mechanical keyboard. Number one is the aesthetic. What initially drew me to using a mechanical keyboard is the aesthetic. Mechanical keyboards just look cooler and there's way more options on how you can make them look. So as you can see, I tried to customize my Apple keyboard, but all I did was put stickers on it because that's all you really can do. But with mechanical keyboards, you can actually remove the keycaps completely and switch them out for any other color or whatever you want it to look like. Right now, I'm rocking the all white stock keycaps that came with this keyboard, but I'm definitely keeping an eye out for a new keycap set. So a lot of the ones I like are out of stock and the other ones are like months out from shipping. So it's not as easy as I thought it would be to change up the appearance. So something to keep in mind. So number two is the typing experience. And what really convinced me to buy a mechanical keyboard is that so many people said that it improves the typing experience and that it made typing more enjoyable. So I'm a software engineer. I pretty much type all day long. I write code, I reply to emails, I write design docs, I write code reviews. And so pretty much a majority of my day is spent typing on a computer. I also do a lot of typing outside of work. So writing my scripts and replying to every single one of my comments. I really do appreciate all of you who comment on my videos. So I make sure to make time to reply to each and every one of you. So if you ever want to chat, leave a comment down below. So with all the typing that I do, if I could improve that experience even just a tiny bit, it would have a large impact on a day-to-day -day basis. And I've heard similar logic with mattresses. If you're gonna spend a third of your life on a mattress, you might as well buy a great one. Number three is ergonomics. Ergonomics is really important and it's especially a concern for people whose career involves typing. Otherwise, you can get things like repetitive stress syndrome or carpal tunnel and that's really bad for your body. The good news is that this is all preventable if you use an ergonomic setup. The V84 has an ergonomic design so that there's a more comfortable typing angle. Because it's elevated off of the desk, it also comes with a wrist pad. So I didn't even realize that there was an ergonomic issue with this Apple keyboard, but because the keyboard has this bit for the numbers, it's actually hard to keep your keyboard center. And you might just think like, you know, you could shift the keyboard over, but then when you reach for your mouse, it's like more strain on your elbow. And so it's just little things like that that are really important when you're typing so often. Okay, number four is the sound. So one thing I found all these satisfying is watching and listening to people type on their mechanical keyboards. There's so many videos, it's super aesthetic and soothing. I think it's like keyboard ASMR if you're into that. So one thing I do wanna mention is that you should be considerate for others if you're working in a shared space because not everyone will find your mechanical keyboard soothing to listen to. Some people may even find it annoying or disturbing or distracting. So do check in with them if you do plan on getting a loud mechanical keyboard. But the good news is that not all mechanical keyboards are loud and that brings me into option number five which is that there's so many customization options 
With mechanical keyboards, you can customize it to your liking fully at any level. And some people say that mechanical keyboards are kind of an extension of yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no one says that. But really, you can customize it in so many ways. You can change how it looks, you can change how it sounds, you can change the setup so it's more ergonomic for your needs. There's really an infinite amount of combinations you can choose from. The only limit is your wallet. <laughs> It can actually get pretty expensive as a hobby. I've seen mechanical keyboards go for thousands of dollars, which is pretty wild to me, but I'm not gonna judge how you spend your money. <laughs> but you don't have to spend a lot of money to get started. Both of the keyboards I've been showing in this video are relatively affordable options for the value that you get. Those are the five reasons why I switched to mechanical keyboard and after you've decided that you want a mechanical keyboard, the next step is to figure out which keyboard to get. And I'll be honest, this is really hard. I spent months trying to figure out what kind of keyboard I should buy. I went back and forth between so many options because I just couldn't decide. And so if you're at all interested in getting a mechanical keyboard, let me save you some time and let me show you the two keyboards that Vissel sent me. And as a full disclosure, they did gift me these keyboards, but my opinions are my own. I don't have to say anything I don't want to say. <laughs> Let's start with the Vissel's V84, which is a wireless mechanical keyboard that is hot swappable and has PBT white keys. So I mentioned this earlier, but it's a 10 keyless mechanical keyboard, which makes it really compact and ergonomic. It is hot swappable, which means you can swap out the switches without having to solder anything. It can connect up to five devices and uses Bluetooth 5.1, which is really awesome. You can use it both wired and wireless and on battery, it lasts for 180 hours. So it comes with Mac keys, but they also provide Windows keycaps in case you want to switch. And this keyboard is a bit more elevated, so it comes with a wrist rest, which minimizes the pressure on your nerve while typing. So in the box, you get the keyboard, you get a wrist rest, a keycap puller, a switch puller, a user manual, a quick user guide, a USB cable, extra keycaps, magnetic feet to elevate it higher, and then non-slip mats for the wrist rest. All in all, this is a super great keyboard. I'm really happy with it. I don't really plan on changing anything about it anytime soon, but I'm glad that I do have the option to change out the keycaps and switches if I want to. Next up is the Vissel's LP85, which is their ultra thin 75% optical mechanical keyboard. As of this video, it is now up on Kickstarter. It has a few days left to go. So do check it out if you're interested. So this is the Vissel's LP85. It is a ultra thin 75% optical mechanical keyboard. It has 85 keys, low profile optical switches. It has a Mac or Windows layout. It's Bluetooth and wired. It has 19 RGB backlit. It's multi-device and it has very clicky feedback. It pairs up to three devices. I think this is a really great mechanical keyboard if you have a Mac and you're into that Mac aesthetic. So I have the black version, but they also sell one in white and it's ultra slim and lightweight. So you can actually bring it with you to go if you wanted to. It's definitely a great looking keyboard. It's super sleek and I really do like all the RGB options it has. I think if you're already using Apple Magic Keyboard, this is a great alternative because it looks very similar. Plus you get the benefits of having a mechanical keyboard with the tactile feedback. If you're interested in getting either of these keyboards, I will have affiliate links in the description below. All in all, I'm really happy with my decision to switch to a mechanical keyboard. The aesthetics, the sound, the typing experience, the ergonomics, and the customization options are all great reasons to switch. But I think it's a very personal decision. You don't have to buy a mechanical keyboard. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.